this example, we definitely have a more complicated equation than we've looked at yet. And what I wanna really emphasize here is the level of detail that you should be showing as you solve equations, and, and then again, just reemphasize how to really keep things organized. So let me, um, this is a little crowded here, so I'm gonna rewrite the problem so that we have plenty of space everywhere. So um, something that I mentioned in the last video is that if you can, try to keep your equal signs uh, in the same position on your page as you work down. So I'm going to really try my best to keep my equal signs all right here. And so um, actually even before I take my next step, I'm going to throw that equal sign right there so I make sure I keep it lined up. And so something that I really want you to do is to rewrite the entire equation in every step you take. Please do not try to just write little pieces of it as you try to simplify things and, and move things from one side to the other. So um, we know that, and we've, and we've seen in a few examples already, that if one of the sides or both of the sides of your equation um, need to be simplified, you need to do that first. Okay, And so we can see both sides need to be simplified. And so... I think it's okay to go ahead and do one step to simplify each side um, in, in this one step we're taking here. So on the left side, I know the first thing I need to do is to distribute negative 2 through to both of those terms. Now nothing's happening with this 3x, so I'm going to rewrite it. Okay, Everything needs to get rewritten. And then remember we think of this minus as just a negative 2, so negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, so I'll write minus 8. And negative 2 times negative x would be positive 2x, so I'll write plus 2x. And then again, this 8x, nothing happened with it, so I rewrite it. Then over on the right, I can add those two, 12 plus 6 is 18. All right, so I'll go to my next step. I still have some simplifying to do on the left side here. Um, so I've got three different like terms, so I'll add those up. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 8 is 13. So what I'll have is 13x minus 8. And of course I rewrite the 18 that's on the right side. And now we follow the rules we learned in the last video. Right? We're going to go the reverse order of operations to decide what order we take to get x all by itself. So I'm going to deal with the subtracting of 8 first. And of course, if I'm subtracting 8 on the left, I can get rid of that 8 by adding 8 to both sides. So we have 13x equals 18 plus 8 is 26. And then we can take 13x divided by 13. 26 divided by 13. And so that leaves me with x equals, and 13 goes into 26 exactly twice. So x equals 2. All right, so what did I do? I made sure my equal signs were more or less lined up, and I did a decent job of that. I got a little bit off at the very end, but that's okay. Not too bad. So that just helped me keep things really organized. And then every time I wrote a new step, I rewrote the entire equation, regardless of whether I did anything with the particular term or not. So 3x, nothing happened with it, but it got rewritten. 8x, nothing happened with it, but it got rewritten. From here to here, nothing happened with the 18, but I rewrote it anyway. So please take the time to completely write out your steps, completely write out every term, and you will drastically cut down on mistakes, and, um, and it just makes for... Um, a lot better looking of a process. And then the other side to things is that when you're doing an algebra problem, let's say you get it incorrect at the end, um, if your instructor is grading that particular problem for partial credit, let's say it's on a test, if you have every single step shown and it's clear you just made a really silly mistake at the end, then perhaps your instructor can give partial credit. However, if you just have really spotty work and it's not really clear where your mistake happened, then there's really no partial credit to give. So from that standpoint, it's also important to show 
all of your work in a lot of detail.